guys, today we're here to talk about products that I've hit pan on. And if you're not familiar with the term hit pan, essentially it's a powder product that you've used so much, or cream I guess, um, that you can see the pan that has been pressed into. So the silver bottom, maybe you've baked on a terracotta plate, what have you. Basically you've been using it a lot and it's starting to give way. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, if I have hit pan on a product, it means that I probably love it or have had it for a very long time because I have quite a large makeup collection. So to actually use something so much that it's you're like starting to really get through it and have the potential to finish it, which is such an accomplishment in the makeup world, <laughs> um, that means you must really love it. The first thing I'm just going to get out of the way because you guys are going to roll your eyes and be like, Samantha, please shut up about this product. It is the Instain Blush from the Balm in the shade Swiss Dot. It's the perfect blush goes with everything long wearing creamy I've got a full review on it if you're sick of hearing me talk about it I know I'm sorry but I love it I've actually got a few products in here from the bomb because it is one of the first brands that I really kind of fell in love with and got me really um, into the makeup uh, community I guess because people talked about it so much on YouTube a few years ago um, so the next product is the how about them apples cream uh, lip and cheek palette and I don't use a whole lot of creams um, I think that I had pan on this because the pans are so shallow that it doesn't take much um, but the palette itself is so cute it's got all these little apples and then these cute boys next to it um, so the one that I used is the shade caramel which is like a gorgeous neutrally brown shade looks great on the lips great on the cheeks as I've mentioned before I don't use a lot of cream products um, and I think that I really only got through this because it is such a shallow pan and I was kind of digging my brush in there I guess generally with this kind of thing hey whoa I really need to film with a towel beneath me because the amount of times I get stuff on our white bed sheets is insane. Um, that just fell out. I have no idea why. But I do love this palette. It is super cute, really nice and compact. And if you do love cream blushes, I highly, highly recommend it. Then from the Balm, I've also used a lot of the Time Balm concealer. I don't mention this on my channel very often, I don't think. And it's one of those products that's just kind of a staple in my collection. I get I overlook it because it's not like fancy and new and shiny and revolutionary. Um, but this is the Time Balm concealer. I use it in the shade Medium, and I use this to cover up my acne. Um, I don't talk a lot about, like, I guess acne coverage for some reason, um, but I do have, like, active breakouts, like, every day of my life. I've got acne scarring, like, I live the dream. <laughs> And um, this is something that I really love to use. It is a nice thick concealer. I don't really like it under my eyes because it is so creamy and thick. Um, but it is great for covering up scarring, any active active breakouts, and it does a really good job. Great coverage, long lasting, um, and I think it's just an amazing concealer. You get tons of product in here, and it's not overpriced. And if you're looking for something to uh, cover up any marks you have on your skin, I really, really like this one, and I should have talked about it before now. Then um, from NYX, I've got two items. This is the NYX Dark Circle Concealer. This is what I recommend to anybody who says they have dark circles because a lot of people, who, if you're not really into the makeup world, you may not know that if you have darkness under your eyes, a concealer may not just do the trick. A lot of the time, the concealer is more for evening out the skin tone, could be for brightening, but not necessarily actually kind of eliminating that darkness under your eyes. So you need something salmon-y, something peachy to color correct, which is all the rage. Um, and this is a great cheap option because if you're going to be using a concealer and a corrector, you don't necessarily want them to be like both really high end. So this is in the shade Deep and you'll see in my swatch here that it's a great kind of peachy shade. I'll use this under my eyes. I've got a little darkness around my mouth. Sometimes I'll even use it on acne scarring if it's kind of dark. Um, and I think that this is really great, super affordable from the drugstore. And um, I use it almost every single day. It's not like a whole color correcting routine. It's just like put a little swipe of this on underneath my concealer. And I find it does help to brighten my under eyes and kind of eliminate that darkness. Something. <laughs> that just smashed like five minutes ago on my way in here when I was carrying in products. I had hit pan on it, but now it's just like straight up pan essentially, and I can't even show you what it looks like. I planned on doing a whole video on this bronzer, so I'm guessing I'm, I'm gonna have to buy a new one. It is the NYC Color Wheel in All Over Bronze Glow. This is fabulous, and if you could see, it is in a little mosaic. It's got a really dark brown, kind of a cool brown, a bronzy brown and then like a light kind of creamy highlight shade. I love swirling this all together. If you've got a skin tone like mine and you have trouble finding like bronzers slash contours at the drugstore, this is a great option. Very, very affordable. NYC is super cheap. It's got great pigmentation. Um, it's long lasting. Like 
it's awesome and it can also double as eyeshadows that was kind of my plan was I was gonna do a video where I use this on my face and then I also used it for like a really like nice matte neutral eye so I'm gonna have to buy a new one because I do really really like this and I feel like it gets a little bit overlooked um, but I love it but just don't drop it when you hit pan <laughs> Then a bronzer that I've talked about a lot that I've hit major pan on is the um, NYX Matte Bronzer in Deep. I can't remember if this is my second one or not. I think it might be and I have another backup. Again, if you are looking for a contour from the drugstore, this is the best one. It's, you can bronze with it because it's not like super cool. It's not like gray by any means, but it definitely has some coolness to it and it's just great quality, super easy packaging. They've got a whole bunch of different shades. They've also got a deep tan if you're looking for something a little bit warmer because I bought that by accident before. But for me, deep is just the perfect shade. I love it as a contour. I'll also use it sometimes, just run it through my crease if I'm not looking to do anything crazy with my eyes, but just want to add a little bit of definition. Um, and I highly recommend these NYX Matte Bronzers. Then from ColourPop, I've hit pan on this, which really surprises me. I think this is just because of the formula and it got kind of moved around and the pan is showing, but pan is showing, so I'm going to include it. This is in the shade Tonic. I've mentioned this a few times in my color series for orange, um, and this is a gorgeous kind of... I don't know, I guess pretty true orange blush, maybe a little bit of red in it, um, but it looks gorgeous on the cheeks, gives you a really nice kind of flush, a lot of warmth to your skin. Um, but I've, as I've mentioned before, ColourPop blushes, I just don't reach for because I find them kind of hard to work with. I don't know if it's just me, but... Um, then from Kat Von D, I purchased this in January, and I've already hit pan on two shades. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is like my top product of 2016, even though it came out in 2015. I'm kind of late to the boat. Um, but these two shades I absolutely love for my under eye. I mostly love the banana shade, um, but I've moved on to the kind of cream shade just because I don't want to use up the yellow banana shade yet. I've also made some major dents in these. I kind of mix these two together for my contour, and I think it does an excellent job. This kind of peachy shade I'm going to use under my eyes too once like this one starts to wear away a little bit more. Um, this shade doesn't work for me that well, um, but I do kind of use it as an eyeshadow. I'll take this for travel a lot with work because it's just so convenient. Um, um, but again, the powders are very, very soft in this palette, so that's what's going to kind of make them wear away, but their softness and pigmentation is why I love them, um, and I believe she is releasing this so that the pans will be removable and replaceable, and when that happens, um, that's going to be great because then I won't have to keep buying like this palette, but I will totally repurchase this forever and ever. It is amazing. Um, so that is everything that I have hit pan on, which is a big accomplishment. If you'd like to see like a project pan or anything, let me know. I've never really done those videos. I know that it's really popular. There's a whole panning community out there, um, and I'm not really a part of it, but I wouldn't mind doing a project pan or something. I think that would be kind of interesting, but then again, I also get really bored using the same products that is why I'm a makeup junkie also shout out to Shell for makeup your mind she did this video a little while back and inspired me to do it I will link to her a video down below and if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and snapchat at Samantha Jane YT don't forget to mention what you have hit pan on recently down below and I will see you guys next time bye